chafya <coughs> na pia kwa kugusa sehemu au Jitenge kisha piga nambari 719 ili upate usaidizi. Mtu yeyote anaishi na maradhi sugu kama vile virusi vya HIV, kifua kikuu, saratani na mingineo, anashauriwa kutumia dawa zake jinsi alivyoshauriwa na daktari bila kukosa. Komesha corona. Ujumbe huu umeletwa kwako na serikali ya Kenya. began. As the mother of broadcasting in Kenya, you can trust KBC to bring you authentic news and programs to your living room. As KBC, we take pride in our unrivaled heritage as Kenya's trusted national broadcaster. Commanding over 92% digital television signal coverage of our country, 23 radio services that cut across our entire language spectrum, a national, regional and international digital presence backed by the most experienced and top-notch broadcast professionals in the industry. A very good evening to you. The New Look Kenya Broadcasting Corporation is truly ahead of the pack. Turn to the mother of broadcasting in Kenya for stories that resonate with our identity, our aspirations as a people united in purpose. Real stories of hard work, of passion, of creativity, of big dreams. Stories that cement our nationhood. Stories that bring us together as one. We take pride in our shared heritage and destiny. KBC. Informing, educating and entertaining Kenyans as one nation. KBC. Kenya's listening. Kenya's watching. This week on Zurura, Boys and Their Toys. And the out of town. Get to learn the benefits and beauty of running your own home garden. That is so cool and fun. Demystifying fishing as an elitist sport and something anyone can do, including you. So, shake, shake, move. Yeah. Woo! That's all coming right up on Surura. Find your adventure only on KBC. My name is Muhammad Ahmed Muhammad, the CEO of Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, the successor of uh, DPF, that's Deposit Protection Fund Board, which was established in 1986 following massive bank failures at that time that the government thought it prudent to start a deposit insurance to protect the interest of the depositors. DPF had a limited mandate of providing deposit insurance when a bank fails and acting as a liquidator when they are appointed liquidator by the Central Bank of Kenya once an institution fails. And then by 2008, the idea was mooted now to expand the mandate of, of uh, DPF because of also the financial uh, growth in our country. And that is when the idea of KDIC came up following uh, assessment by the World Bank consultants. Then the act was created and then the act was enacted in 2012 by our, by our parliament now giving birth to KDIC. Be sure, check out for a KDIC sticker in your banking hall. KDIC, protecting your deposits. Virusi vya corona huenea unapokaribiana na mtu alie ambukizwa, kupitia matone haswa wakati ya nakukuhua <coughs> au kupiga chafya, na pia kwa kugusa sehemu au vifavi livya na virusi hivi. Ukihisi dalili kama vile kupandwa na joto, kiko hozi, maumimu mwilini na ugumu wa kupumua, na unashuku ulikaribiana na mwadhiriwa 
Jitenge kisha piga nambari 719 ili upate usaidizi. Mtu yeyote anaishi na maradhi sugu kama vile virusi vya HIV, kifua kikuu, saratani na mingineo, anashauriwa kutumia dawa zake jinsi alivyoshauriwa na daktari bila kukosa. Komesha corona. Ujumbe huu umeleta kwako na serikali ya Kenya. jambo mpenzi mtazamaji na karibu kwenye darubini weekend jina langu ni Nancy Onyancha naitwa Harith Salim na bila shaka leo kuna mengi ambayo tumekuandalia katika taarifa zetu kumbuka pia tutakuwa na mchezo na mwana habari wetu uh, keep tunaye hapa atakuwa anakujuza mengi katika uh, michezo lakini mbali na hayo kuna yale ambayo tumeapa kipa mbele siku hii ya leo Rais Kenyatta wataka wanasiasa kujihusisha na maendeleo badala ya domo domo katika ziara yake ya kukagua miradi eneo la ukambani. So remember that what really distress somebody's child, you as also will not get where you want to. Pombe ndiyo inayotumiwa sana na wanafunzi wa shule za msingi huko endeshao biashara miadarati shuleni wakionywa vikali. When one officer becomes law that all officers are on law. Msitu hukumu kwa uovu wa chache. Idare ya polisi yajitetea. Tuandamane hadi tamati, mtangaza joto ishara ni Lucy Mwaura. Wizara elimu imetoa onyokali kwa wanaoendesha biashara za mihadarati maeneo yaliyo karibu na shule. Wizara hiyo imesema inawalenga walanguzi wanaodaiwa kuwasambazia wanafunzi mihadarati wakiwemo walimu na walinzi wa shule. Na kama anavyotueleza mwanahabari wetu Ruth Wamboi Pombe imekuwa maarufu miongoni mwa wanafunzi wa shule za msingi katika utafiti wa nakada uliongamua kwa asilimia mbili ya wanafunzi wa shule za msingi wamewahi kutumia dawa za kulevya. Sasa ni rasmi kuwa utakuwa unavunja sheria ukiendesha biashara ya vileo na mihadarati karibu na taasisi za elimu. Well, we found that the chain was with some of the senior staff doing actually big business with the children. I also assure you of my ministry's commitment in safeguarding the school environment for realization of drug free schools. Katika juhudi za kukabiliana na hayo, serikali imetoa taratibu za kitaifa za kuzuia utumizi wa mihadarati ya soa katika maeneo ya shule. The issue of alcohol is a major disaster for our country. Walimu na walinzi wakituhumiwa kuwa miongoni mwa wanaopalilia biashara hiyo. What really distress somebody's child, you as also will not get where you want the to go. Utafiti uliofanywa na shirika la nakada kati ya mwaka 2016 na mwaka 2019 kuhusu utumizi wa dawa za kulevya miongoni mwa wanafunzi umengamua kuwa pombe inatumika sana na wanafunzi ikiwa ni kwa asilimia 23.4 miraa kwa asilimia 17 dawa zinazonunuliwa madukani kwa asilimia 16.1 Tumbako kwa asilimia 14.4, bangi asilimia 7.5, heroin na kisha cocaine kwa asilimia 1.2 na 1.1 mtawalia. Ni dhahiri shairi sasa kwamba walimu na umma kwa jumla watakao patikana wakiuza mvinyo na madawa ya kulevya kwa wanafunzi wachanga watajipata pabaya. Nikiripotia darubini, mie ni Ruth Wamboi.
Na naibu inspekta jenerali wa polisi mbugu wamewataka wa Kenya kutawala umu afisa wote kwa utundu au utovu wa nidhamu wa wachache kikosini. Akiongea baada ya kuzindua shughuli ya ukarabati kwenye kituo cha polisi cha Centro jijini Nairobi, mbugu alisema ni maafisa wa chache wanaochafua sifa ya polisi ila idara hiyo inajizatiti kudumisha hadhi yake kwa wananchi. Kituo cha polisi cha Centro jijini Nairobi kwa sasa kinaendelea kufanya ukarabati kwa ufadhili wa benki ya family. Naibu Inspector General wa Polisi Edward Mbugwa amefurahia ufadhili huo ila amewasuta wale wanaoichafulia jina huduma ya kitaifa ya polisi. Do not condemn each and every police officer for an act done by one of them. They are doing a good job and that is why we have a secure country. That we the members of the public expect the police to do well. We don't even remember to thank them for where they are doing well. We only complain when they don't do some when they make some mistake afisa mkumtendaji wa benki ya family rebecca mbidhi kwa upande wake alipongeza huduma ya polisi kutokana na jukumu lao kubwa la kutoa usalama kwa wananchi huku akihimiza uwepo wa ushirikiano mwema kati ya umma na huduma hiyo this is the very reason why family bank took a moment to reflect on the role the critical role you play in our lives in our businesses and decided that it is important for we as the private sector to play a role in making sure that the police have a very good environment which is within which they can be able to serve us. Ukarabati huo utakao gharimu shilingi milioni tatu unatarajiwa kukamilika katika kipindi cha miezi mitatu. Na mbali na hayo ni kwamba baraza la chuo kikuu cha Nairobi limesema hakuna mfanyakazi atakayepoteza kazi katika mpango wa mabadiliko unaotarajiwa kutekelezwa chuoni humo kulingana na pendekezo la Wizara ya Fedha. Mwenyekiti wa baraza la chuo kikuu cha Nairobi Profesa Julia Ojambo anasema mabadiliko yaliyopangwa kutekelezwa katika mashirika ya serikali yananuia kurahisisha na kuboresha utendakazi. Akizungumza katika ukumbi wa mikutano wa baraza hilo Profesa Ojambo alisema taasisi za elimu zimefurahia uamuzi wa mageuzi hayo mapya hapo jana serikali iliorodhesha idadi ya mashirika ya serikali yanayostahili kufanyiwa mabadiliko kwa mujibu wa ushauri wa shirika la fedha duniani IMF and we have just reengineered our systems and we want to assure members of the press and all Kenyans that there will be no job losses at the University of Nairobi. The priority should be now more on enhancing our efficiency and effectiveness, aligning the staff we have with the work that we have and ensuring they are supervised for the operations and the work that we have approved. How will this affect the academics? In our view, and what was proposed also we said it it will make the management of academic functions more effective efficient and accountable we confirm that the exercise of implementing this and other reforms will endeavor to avoid unnecessary disruptions in service delivery kusonga mbele baadhi ya familia zenye watu wanaoishi na ulemavu zinaendelea kuteseka kutokana na kutokuwa na ufahamu kuhusu jinsi ya kupata msaada kutoka kwa mashirika husika hii ni hali inayopelekea watu wenye ulemavu kuendelea kupitia maisha magumu kisa kimoja ni cha msichana wa umri wa miaka minane anayefahamika kwa jina Whitney Kayoji kutoka eneo la maili nne huko Eldoret ambaye hawezi kutembea na amekuwa katika hali hiyo kwa miaka sita sasa Tunamkuta Whitney Kayoji nyumbani kwao katika eneo la maili nne huko Eldoret wakati mama yake Anwangare anapomtarisha kwenda shuleni. Whitney mtoto anayeishi na ulemavu na hawezi kutembea. Mtoto kufikisha miaka mbili na ngoja mtoto asimame hakuweza kusimama. Kuangalia nikakuta kumbe mguu yake ya kwanza moja imejikunja kabisa moja ikijikunja kama nyingine azifanani zote. Whitney anaungana na wanafunzi wengine katika shule ya msingi ya Kipiemit huko akiwa ni mwanafunzi wa pekee kwenye shule hii anaishi na ulemavu kwani shule hiyo sio ya kutoa huduma maalum. Whitney akitaka kwenda cho hana kitu ya kumpeleka cho lazima hao watoto wadogo waweze kubeba Whitney wampeleke cho waweze kumrudisha. 
na inapofika zamu yake ya kucheza Whitney anaonekana kuwa makini sana angalau asiumize miguu yake anatoka familia isiyojiweza na jitihada za mamaye za kumtafutia matibabu hazikufua dafu After kwenda rifaru kutafuta therapy si kufanikiwa. District after kwenda waliniambia wanaweza nishonee kiatu lakini si kwa na hiyo pesa yenyewe walikuwa nataka. Anasemekana kuwa mtoto mwenye furaha hana mwerevu lakini maisha yake yanaelezea hali yenye changamoto. Nahangaika na yeye sana sengi hata nashindwa anaweza kula nini, anaweza fanya nini. Tuko tu nyuma yani hakuna kinye tuko naye. Mimi kinye naweza taka witinia saidiwe ni Yaani afanyie hata kama ni hiyo surgery wa mfanyie miguu itengeneze nyoroke atembele hata scratch it kamchemenza darubini na taarifa hiyo ya kamche ndio inatupeleka mapumzikoni ila bado hapo mengine ambayo tumekuandalia kwa hiyo sende mbali tunarejea hivi pole bila shaka Nissan Serena ndio hii. Na unaweza kuwa wewe ndio tunapikia simu. Kodi ya Nissan Serena ni NS. Alafu kisha kwenye amount ni 50 bob. Hii Nissan Serena tunakupatia na shilingi 50. Kujiunga na Quick Bid ni rahisi. Enda kwenye Mpesa, bonyeza Paybill kisha weka business number 403253. Kwenye account weka kodi ya bidhaa unayotaka na bidi yako ya chini zaidi. Kwa mfano TV16. Kisha weka shilingi 20 tu kama idadi yako. Weka bidi yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke. Kumbuka, bidi ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua. Quick Bid za bora kwa bei ya chini. Siku moja mosquito ilipata ujauzito ikasaa mtoto. Sasa hiyo mama ya mosquito ikatoma mtoto mosquito iende kapige doria iwaje kukaa kwa nyumba. Sasa hii mtoto mosquito ikaenda ikaenda ikarudi. Hii mtoto mosquito ikaambia mama yake, "Mama mimi nimeenda kila mahali watu wanapigia mimi makofi. Watu wamefurahiana na mimi sana." Mama hii mosquito ikaambia mtoto yake, "Hao wapigie wewe makofi eti wanafurahia wewe. Hiyo walikuwa wanataka kuua wewe." ili kupata sikiza tune hiyo ya mosquito bonyeza star 811 star 967 hash bonyeza star 811 star 967 hash the sacrifice that is gonna take to make it worth the while kima bagging the best eastern africa female artist of the year Catch Nikita Kering on Easy Friday at 9:45 p.m. with Shiksha Arora only on KBC Channel 1. Karibu mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama Darubini weekend Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anasema miradi inayoendelea ya maji umeme na ujenzi wa barabara itachangia pakubwa katika ukuaji wa uchumi wa nchi kwa mujibu wa ruanza wa mwaka 2030. Akizungumza huko makweni wakati wa kaguzi wa ujenzi wa bwawa kwake Rais Kenyatta aliwashutumu baadhi ya wanasiasa kwa kuendeleza desturi ya ombaomba ambayo inaendeleza ufukara badala ya maendeleo. Baada ya kufutilia mbali baadhi ya shughuli zake katika eneo la ukambani kwa ajili ya janga la COVID-19, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alichagua mradi wa ujenzi wa bwawa la maji la Thwake kuwa kituo cha kwanza cha ziara yake. Mradi huo wa mabilioni ya pesa unafadhiliwa na serikali ya Kenya kwa kushirikiana na Benki ya Maendeleo barani Afrika na unatarajiwa kuhifadhi cubic mita milioni 688 za maji. Ujenzi wa bwawa hilo umepangiwa kukamilika mwezi Juni mwaka ujao. Huu mradi ni mradi kwanza wa kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumewezesha wananchi wawe na maji ya kunywa. Huu mradi utatusaidia pia kule konza ambapo tunataka kujenga mji mpya wa kiteknolojia wa kisasa na ambapo tutaweza kuwa na nafasi nyingi za kazi za wakenya wenzetu. Tunajua kwa kengeneko alitumia pesa kiholela wakachukua waka pesa na kuhama nazo lakini nataka ujue mheshimiwa rais pesa ambazo 
African Development Bank Kenya government wanafanya kwa mradi huu na ile miradi mingine ambayo utazindua because you actually are starting your tour of Lower Eastern umekuja kwa kuzindua kazi ile umefanya na hakuna siasa ndogo ndogo zitaharibu kazi yako ilikuwa hapa ambapo rais aliwashtumu baadhi ya viongozi wa kisiasa kwa kuendeleza siasa za kuwapatia uwezo wa kiuchumi watu tabaka la chini akisema manufaa kamili yanaweza tu kupatikana kupitia kwa miradi mkubwa ya ustawi wa muundo msingi ukisikia Raila akiongea unasikia anasema infrastructure 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 anaelewa ni nini natakikana ukisikia Kalonzo akisema ni hiyo anaelewa ni nini natakikana sio tu kuongea kwa sababu unataka kuchafua fikira za wa vijana you, you, you lazima uwe na mpango na mpango uwezi uwe naye usipofikiria mahitaji yale ambaye mwishowe itasaidia mwananchi kujisimamia akigusia ubomozi ulioshuhudiwa katika maeneo ya Kariobangi na Ruai jijini Nairobi mwaka uliopita ili kutoa nafasi kwa ujenzi wa bomba la kupitisha maji taka kiongozi wa taifa ambaye alikuwa ameandamana na aliyekuwa waziri mkuu Raila Odinga kiongozi wa chama cha Wipa Kalonzo Musyoka na mwenyeji wake gavana wa Makueni Profesa Kivutha Kibwana alisema serikali yake itatumia mbinu zote kurejesha ardhi zote za umma ili kuzitumia kwa manufaa ya watu wa taifa hili unasikia wengine wakinipiga ya kwamba sijui nilifanya nini lakini jameni kama muradi wa sewage na ardhi ilikuwa ya sewage na tumesema irudi ndio wananchi huku chini waweze kupata maji safi tumekosea wapi wenzangu kuhusu uchafuzi wa mara kwa mara wa mito inayomimina maji yao kwenye bwawa la maji la thwake Rais Kenyatta ameliagiza shirika la kitaifa la usimamizi wa mazingira NEMA kuachukulia hatua kali wahusika wa uchafuzi huo John Jacob Curia Darubini shughuli ya kuwasaili ma kamishna wapya wa tumehuri wa uchaguzi na uratibu wa mipaka humo nchini IBC iliendelea kwa siku ya tatu leo huku waniaji watatu wakifika kwenye jumba la KICC kujieleza kwenye dhifa hizo Kono Moro Sendo Dr Dina Jeruto Kipkebot na Felix Osero Nyauchi waliojua kuhusu migemeo yao ya kisiasa na jinsi watakavyohimili shinikizo la kisiasa iwapo watateuliwa kuwa makamishna wa IBC Not a serious one. Wakati Kon Omore Osendo mwenye tajiriba miaka tisa katika taaluma ya ushauri kuhusu masuala ya utawala alipofika mbele ya jopo la usaili la tume ya IBC mwenyekiti wa jopo hilo Dr. Elizabeth Muli alikuwa makini kufahamu jinsi ambavyo Osendo atahimili shinikizo la kisiasa iwapo atateuliwa kuwa kamishna. If, if there can be a regular forum where we all interact with the political class to see the timelines of the election through to um, to peer review amongst ourselves each person whatever role that each person has and where we with this and how can we help each other i think this can dissipate even 40 or 50% of the pressure that builds within the commission wapili alikuwa daktari dina jeruto kipkebut aliye na tajriba ya miaka 31 katika usimamizi wa masuala ya elimu kutoka chuo kikuu cha ijaton You were the 10 years in teaching and 21 years in administration. Yes, doctor. Is it at one place? It is at one place. I've had only one employer. So why do you want to leave now? I don't I don't want to leave my job. I mean if I get this job um God willing then uh, I would take leave of absence for the period of time and still go back. Dr. Kipkebuta aliulizwa kuhusu wajibu wa IBC katika kuandaa uchaguzi huru na wa haki. I would really want to have a stakeholder engagement with the media the the mainstream media as well as uh, the various uh, small media houses particularly those that are aligned to a particular ethnic group to really pre, uh, um, impress upon them the role they play in either Kenya banning or Kenya remaining safe Mbunge wa zamani kutoka eneo bunge la Gwasi ambalo sasa linafahamika kama Suba Kusini Felix Eseru Nyauchi alikabiliwa na wakati mgumu kufafanua kuhusu mchango wake bungeni kati ya mwaka 1997 na mwaka 2002. Mheshimiwa you are not familiar with article 6A and, and B of the constitution regarding uh, how these uh, presidential election tra uh, uh, results are uh, transmitted are you familiar with article 1383c of the constitution uh, so 
Ben Chumba Darubini Na mtazamaji kufikia hapo tunachukua mpumziko mafupi lakini tutarejea papa hapa If you have been in contact with someone who is suspected or has tested positive for COVID-19, self-quarantine for 14 days and call 719 for help. Self-quarantine restricts movements and the spread of the disease and protects your family, friends and community from being infected. During self-quarantine, you are advised to stay in a separate room, disinfect surfaces and clothing with appropriate disinfectant, avoid sharing household items including utensils, towels and beddings, do not receive visitors, wear an appropriate face mask if you must be around other people. COVID-19 is preventable. Protect yourself, family and the community. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. The sacrifice that it's gonna take to make it worth the while. You're gonna end. Freema, bagging the best Eastern Africa female artist of the year. Catch Nikita Kering on Easy Friday at 9:45 p.m. with Shiksha Arora only on KBC Channel One. Na mtazamaji sasa kwenye biashara tofauti zilibuka miongoni mwa wafugaji wakati mkutano wa ushauri uliondaliwa mjini Nakuru kuhusiana na uamuzi wa kurejelea uchinjaji punda baadhi ya wafugaji waliunga mkono hatua hiyo wakisema watapata soko huku wengine wakisema hatua hiyo inawaweka wanyama hao katika hatari ya kuangamia kwa habari hizo na nyingine ni katika mseto wa habari za biashara Tofauti zilichipuka wakati wa mkutano wa ushauri kwa wafugaji ulioandaliwa jana mjini Nakuru. Wafugaji wanaunga mkono uchinjaji wa punda walitaja marufuku hiyo kwa ukiukaji wa haki zao na kwamba itaathiri biashara yao lakini wanaopinga nao walisema marufuku hiyo itasaidia kuwalinda wanyama hao wanaokabiliwa na tishio la kuangamizwa. Nilifuka hii hii hi, hi, nini punda tupate faida tuuze. Sasa nikiambiwa sasa nisiuze ngombe, nisiuze punda hiyo ni kunyima haki yangu kabla kuendelea kuchinja punda ni vizuri uh, serikali iendelee kusimamisha hiyo kuchinja punda mpaka kupatikane njia mwafaka ile itafanya punda waweze kuongezeka wakati huo huo kampuni ya Sendi Limited imeingia ubia na ile ya ARC Ride katika kuzindua magari ya umeme ya magurudumu matatu kusaidia kushughulikia changamoto za usafiri katika jiji la Nairobi kampuni ya Sendi inalenga kununua magari zaidi ya aina hiyo kufikia mwishoni mwa mwaka huu hatua inaojiri wakati ambapo sehemu nyingi za miji zinaathirika na uchafuzi wa hewa we think this will be uh, in the long run passing a cost benefit to our customers uh, we also think uh, it will be a great way for our partners to earn a bit more just simply by the accruing costs that are going down um, and, and for us also we are very motivated to uh, bring down our carbon f uh, footprint uh, in the environment Hatimaye kampuni ya Microsoft imezindua mfumo mpya wa usimamizi wa shughuli za biashara kwa jina Dynamic 365 Business Center kuwasaidia wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo na kadri barani Afrika na Mashariki ya Kati kulainisha biashara zao. Kampuni hiyo imesema mfumo huo utasaidia pakubwa katika kuunganisha wafanyabiashara hao na watoaji huduma muhimu kama vile fedha, mauzo na pia wateja. SMBs play a critical role in the economy which constituting about that 98% of all registered businesses 98 percent so when we say we are launching business central for smbs really we are coming to the full market we're saying can we enable the drivers of economy achieve more nambio kama hivyo umeona kwamba punda wameleta mizozo baina ya wafugaji. Lakini kuna kitu kimoja ambacho watu wamekuwa kizungumza sana sijui kama umekisikia. Mm -hmm. Umesikia kwamba punda akicheka anakufa. Ah. 
sijasikia basi ni baadhi ya mambo ambayo kwanza huwa anacheka sasa unasema, inasemekana kwamba hata wakihamishwa familia yote ya punda wakiwa punda milia wakihamishwa kupitia usafiri wa barabarani mm huwa -hmm. ni kama unawatekerenya oh. ama unawatekenya wengine wanasema kwa hiyo nakuta wengi wakihamishwa mbuga tofauti hawadumu kwa sababu wanacheka safari inavyosemekana lakini <laughs> 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 mbali na haya tunaye keep this up keep mambo vipi salama sana halit pamoja na nyonyancha nasikia kocha wa urusi amepigwa kalamu Na ni mambo yameenda sege mnege kwake kitumbo chake kimeingia mchanga kutokana na yeye kutofanya vema katika dimba la euro na kwa sasa atakuwa nje ya timu hiyo ya Urusi kwa muda ambao atujui itakuwa ni muda gani masuala ambayo yanatokota katika eneo la Urusi bila shaka tunakwenda kupumziko lakini kipnusu tayari yupo tayari kutuletea taarifa za sporti hivi punde So Dr. mtazamaji sasa ni habari za sport na kufahamisha mimi naitwa Timothy Kipnusu na nangwananga na taarifa kwamba FC Leopards imepunguza alama baina yao na KCB inayoshikilia nafasi ya pili kwenye jedwali la ligi kuu ya soka ya FKF baada ya kuishinda bandari FC mabao mawili kwa bila uwanjani thika iliyoanza mchuano huu katika nafasi ya tatu kwa alama 40 sasa inaongozwa na Vinara Tasca FC kwa alama saba pekee Robert Mudenyo na Peter Fiongo walifungia Leopards mabao hayo wili katika kipindi cha pili cha mchuano huo wazito FC pia ilinyakuwa la matatu kamili baada ya kuifunga Viga United mabao mawili kwa bila mjini Nakuru Kevin Kimani alifunga mkwaju wa penalti katika kipindi cha kwanza kisha Bonface Omondi akaongeza bao la pili katika dakika za mwisho mwisho na kuisaidia wazito kuchupa hadi nafasi ya sita huku Viga ikisalia ya 16 Kongeko kocha wa timu ya Equity inayoshiriki kwenye mechi za ligi ya divisheni ya kwanza humo nchini John Baraza amehimiza shirikisho la soka nchini FKF kuirai serikali kutafuta viwanja mbadala na nzuri vya kuchezea Baraza aliyejiunga na timu ya Equity FC kutoka Sofa Paka mwezi Machi mwaka huu ameiongoza timu hiyo kushikilia nafasi ya nne ligini kwa sasa aliyekuwa mchezaji wa timu ya taifa na kocha Sofapaka John Baraza ameiongoza Equity FC kushikilia nafasi ya nne kwenye ligi ya division ya kwanza wa mwinchini. Timu hiyo imetoa ushindi kwenye michuano tisa kutoka sare kwenye mechi tatu na kushindwa katika michuano minne kati ya 16 iliyocheza kufikia sasa. Hata hivyo, ina upungufu wa mechi mbili ambayo haijacheza. Target ambayo tulikuwa tumeweka. So far tujatoka kwa target. Kwa hivyo tulisema tunataka tuwe number one namba 1 tuwe na shua shua yani tuwe na shua chance ya kupanda NSL na tuko kwenye kwenye line ukiangalia mechi ambazo zimebaki tukicheza vizuri na tukijituma vile tumejipanga tunataka tushinde zote kati ya ile performance tumekuwa tukio tuki, tumekuwa nayo imekuwa ni poa na ime, imetuweka imetuweka kwa level ya, ya juu sana ambapo sahii timu tunaenda kucheza nazo zinakuja zikijua sisi wachache baraza amehimiza shirikisho la soka nchini FKF kuirai serikali kutafuta viwanja mbadala na nzuri za kuchezea hasa hapa Kenya ni tatizo kubwa sana tatizo kubwa ukangalia viwanja kule chini unaenda kiwanja kingine unakuta unakuta kuna njia zile za watu unakuta watu wanapita katikati ama upita katikati ya uwanja sasa siku ya mechi unaona kuna njia ambazo zimejiform kukuta nyasi ime imekauka imeisha equity fc tachuana na balaji ugani nyenda mjini ruiru siku ya jumapili kwenye mechi inayofuata frederick muki darubini Tu ndoki humo mchini mtazamaji tu changanye go hadi kwenye ugaibuni ambapo uh, Urusi imempiga kalamu kocha Stanislav Chechesov baada ya kumaliza ya mwisho kwenye kundi lao la mashindano ya bara Ulaya wako wa soka nchini Urusi walikuwa na nia ya kufuzu kwa awamu ya muondoano ya mashindano hayo hasa baada ya mafanikio yao kwenye kombe la dunia mwaka 2018 walipofuzu kwa robo finali kwa mara ya kwanza lakini matokeo yao duni kwenye mashindano ya bara Ulaya ambapo walishindwa michi mbili na kushinda 
mda mmoja licha ya kucheza nyumbani yaliibua utata kutoka kwa mashabiki na wapenzi wa soka nchini humo matokeo hayo duni hatimaye yalichangia uamuzi huo aidha kocha huyo amefanya kazi tangu mwezi agosti mwaka 2016 Yusuf Paulsen for Denmark. Chelsea, Juba against Schmeichel. Ni hayo tu kwenye habari za sport kumbuka kwamba unaweza kutembelea tovuti wetu ambao umeimarishwa zaidi wa www.kbc.co.ke kwa habari zaidi. Narejesha azamu kwa Harit Salim pamoja na Nancy Onyanja tukutane tena siku nyingine majaliwa. Kwa na mtazamaji baada ya sport ya tuna la ziada ila kutamatisha darubini ya weekend ni tuna nsio nyanja tutaenda na wiki ijayo majali bila shaka pia mwenzetu katika lugha ishara kwa niaba yake lakini kwa kumalizia malizia tu ijumaa kama kawaida nasemekana watu wengi hupenda kupoteza matumaini au kuvunjika moyo wengine mpaka kufikiria labda kujitoa uhai kwa sababu ya mabadiliko katika maisha lakini unajua mambo mengine lazima yafanyike na waswahili au wazee wa himaya za kale wanasema mlango wa kutokea sehemu ni mlango wa kuingilia sehemu kwa maisha yanakuwa hivyo ukitoka sehemu unaingia sehemu kwa usikate matumaini usikate tamaa katika maisha yako kwani huwezi kujua ni yapi yanafanyika na kila kitu kinafanyika kwa sababu zake na hiyo ndio akiba mane usiku mwema <laughs> Contact with someone who is suspected or has tested positive for COVID-19, self-quarantine for 14 days and call 719 for help. COVID-19 is preventable. Protect yourself, family and the community.